I'm Pierce Alexander Lil Holt and uh, we're out on floaty boat here. It is rocking a little bit, but I think we're gonna try to, while we're waiting for Tony, before we start this pursuit race, that's right, there's a pursuit race going on, which is where they start the slowest sailboat first, fastest one last, and they stagger them, kind of like a handicap, and then the first person over the finish line, the first boat over the finish line, they win. So while I'm waiting for them, I just fixed a hydraulic under the seat, figured I saw these hinges here. I'm gonna to try to put one in each of the top corners here. So if I wanna lock the cabin, I just slide this up and you won't be able to slide this cabin back because it's got this lip on it. So hopefully this goes like that and that goes up like that and that'll catch it. So let's see if this works. Um, I'd say you probably don't need this unless you're expecting pirates, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta expect some pirates. I'm always expecting pirates, by the way. You're probably wondering where I'm mounting these. I'm uh, doing what they call eyeballing it. So I'm eyeballing this, I'm putting one in this corner, and then I'm gonna eyeball it again on the other corner. Each of these has four screws that came with it. I'm not using those because I don't trust the quality of this stainless steel. But I'm screwing it in anyway, and I'm using my own stainless steel hardware, which I trust this stainless steel because it's pretty good. Okay, there's one hinge. And you know what? Just in case the pirates are really rough these days, I'm putting a second one on. And this is more for the nice symmetrical look this is going to have. Makes this look serious, but it actually serves a functional purpose, which is keeping out pirates. And I don't know if you've ever seen Captain Ron, but let me tell you, pirates are a very real concern, especially when you have a boat like Floaty Boat, which is very prone to pirates. They're always coming around here. Looking for the booty. Show you these okay so got one there right there here and I got one over here and let's see how it works so I'm in here I close this bad boy up okay I'm in the cabin now all I do is I put that up turn it sideways put this up turn it sideways now when you try to open it see how it catches Probably good to have too, because this side for some reason is a little lower, but I think that one's still catching too. Either way, this is impenetrable now. So, you never know when you need a lock. But I'll tell you, if you do need a lock, that's not when you want to be installing a lock. So, that's pretty good. The sky looks pretty awesome behind me. I don't know if that's doing it any justice, but whoa, that's some good sky. You know, I was gonna wait to install this cleat on the front, but hmm, thinking got some time to kill. I was gonna wait until I painted the bowsprit, but might not end up painting it. I do kind of like the look of a nice two by four. So, so we go up and See where's a good spot for this. I'm sure there's a good one somewhere. Probably should have brought up more than two screws because I'll probably drop one off the edge. But that's actually not what I'm going back for. Somebody stuffed a cup in there. Okay. Got one of these. 
this. Whoa. So I already put a ball mount on here. Now the reason for this is primarily to make sure to make sure the uh, I have something for Tony to uh, tie up on or somebody to come and visit. So this is where the phone's going to be. That's right. It's risky, baby. Keeping my phone right there on the bow. Now I'm thinking of mounting this into the side here. So this, this cleat folds out. This little collapsible one. Like that. And then it can fold away. Or maybe I'll put it in right down here. You know, what I don't want to do is put it in the way of a business. I'm not sure what kind of business I'm talking about, but maybe I'll actually put it right there. That's a pretty good place, if any, directly under this phone. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. I figure I'll be uh, careful when I'm painting. Waves always come rolling in right when it's time to do some work on the bow. That's catching a grain in that wood. It's okay. Hold it there while I screw this one in properly. Oh, this one's not going in right. Let's see if I can get it this time. Muscle did that job. Just one muscle. These are the longest screws that I had, but now on the side of this bow spread, I got a cleat that I can pop out or fold down. Pop it out, fold it down. Pop it out, fold it down. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this uh, back with me. This ramp out. Bring the uh, bring the screwdriver thing back with me. The power drill. Look at these waves are rolling in. Where are those coming from? Whoa! I don't know if you can see behind me how much we're rocking, but we're rocking. Image stabilizer. Where yet? That's some image stabilization right there. Oh yeah. Okay. I feel like there's only. Well, there's actually quite a few more. I'm gonna wait for those. Then I'm going back to the cockpit. Actually, I'm going back right now while the waves are coming in. Nothing like walking while the waves are coming in with your hands full of stuff. Nothing like it. Ooh, it felt like I might go swimming. <laughs> Those waves are going in towards shore. Well, that's where they usually go. That's, uh, that's a couple more things that uh, just got finished up here. Now, I do have this big, huge ring. I'm going to... or D-link, whatever you want to call this thing. I'm going to tie this to the other actual cleat that's mounted up there because I want to make sure I have a second cleat for when we get to Maryland so both sides can be cleated off. You know, and that little cleat. Uh, I trust that for 
doing a little flotilla, but I don't necessarily trust trust that. <laughs> but yeah, that was a uh, that was a couple things that got done. Uh, Tony looks like he's still out there doing whatever he's doing, so I want to put on some tunes and uh, maybe I'm going to tie that ring on, on up at the front. I mean, I think I'll cut a little Dyneema, cut a little bit of anchor line, tie this on with more than is necessary. I think this thing holds 16,000 pounds, so I need at least 16,000 pounds worth of line just in case we're going to, you know, helicopter the boat anywhere. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 